Ah, there's Irina. Hello, Irina. And this is your bridge. I like it. Yeah, I approve. Little wooden thing, Chinesey looking inspiration. Hiya! Alright, yeah. What are you going to show me? Right, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, it's good, it's good, yes, agreed. Yeah, well, I, we'll, we'll keep that. Okay, now, if you bear with me one second, I've got a lot of signs in my hand, but this pig looks delicious. Hello, pig, you look delicious. Hello, everyone, Movement here, welcome back to the MC Ages server, and we started things off where we left things off last time um, building our hellscape first room of Valhalla hopefully we're going to finish the shop today um, but as you can see here we are just placing down a heck of a load of signs and it's really 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 tedious and frustrating work but the idea is as you probably already guessed these signs are going to hold up a lava pool so when you're in that room below, as you can see, the walls are done now, but the ceiling is also going to be covered in lava. And that's going to be the only lighting, apart from the demon dog's hellish fire eyes, as you can see below. But yeah, we're going to get some lava all over here, and then we can move on to the three rooms above, which are going to be fire, ice, and battle, I think. Um, not quite as sexy as they sound, but, you know, they're going to be a bit of fun, I think. So, yeah, here we go. Bit of a time lapse type situation, and we're going to go forward in time! Day two! And I'm currently in the nether, trying to find a lava pool and not fall into the damn thing. Come on. Get down, get down, get down. I've used to put my lava in the first room. Uh, lots got on since uh, yesterday. Uh, completely finished the um, the dog room, if you will, and started on the first room, which is here. This is the fire room. Um, it's got a glass roof. And the reason it's got a glass roof and glass walls is because I'm going to do this. Lava all around, let it spread all over. Do, do, do. Although we don't, the good thing about this room is we don't have to. I'm quite anal about the um, lava being all like the same level and stuff. If you're looking down on it, but because we're going to be inside the room there, it's going to be flat no matter what. So it doesn't really matter. We just need to stick like, well, like, like as you see here, look, what one on the court on each corner, one roughly in the middle, and it kind of spreads out when you're inside. It'll look, well you can see there, you can see it's all straight. It'll look all straight down and look quite pretty. Um, although this is pretty lethal, trying not to stand in the damn stuff. Um, I seem to have some dead pixels there, look. Uh, can I reach? I don't, don't want to walk in the lava. Ah, okay, right, try this. One there. One there, and one there. Is that going to work? There you go. This server is strange. Um, so here's a little, the good thing about this server is we can walk between the last place you visited and where you are now. So I don't have to keep going into the nether, going back to the lava pool, going into the nether, blah, blah, blah. Just keep warping backwards and forwards, filling me buckets. Which is exactly how I did the, uh, the dog room. Go like back and here we are and uh, just keep doing that until the place is full so yeah I'll uh, let you know what it looks like in a sec room one done and I'm not gonna show you straight away I don't think I'm gonna uh, do a big reveal at the end but we're now moving on I've come kind of come across the roof here and broke my way into the middle room which is gonna be the battle room warrior room I don't know I haven't decided what to call it yet Lots of resources, as you can see here. Kind of a junky chest. Um, but what I'm going to do in here is have it like, um, you know, like Asgard was in 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 four in on the MCU. Um, bit like that. We're like big hall. Uh, well, not big. It's obviously quite quite limited with space here. But a big hall with. Hang on a minute. What have got here? Ladders. <coughs> well, there you are. Here's the demon dog room. As you can see, I've done the roof. Ta-da! 
And here we go. Say we have a fire room. We go up into the fire room. And there you go. Oh, roadblock. Go away. So there you go. We've got fire on the walls. I'm going to make it even scarier now. We're going to light up the walls as well. Just to add some depth and some... Uh, I don't know. Peril, I suppose. But um, as you can see, it's glass on the floor in the middle. You'll come up and you'll just walk straight down the glass. Um, it'll be pretty obvious that's what you have to do. But yeah, here we go. Da -da 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 -da. My particle effects. Ah, oh, damn it. Particle effects are going to do, do a number on me. And I forgot to make the exit. I'm a moron. Huh. Um... Uh, yeah, I'm kind of trapped in a fire room now. <laughs> oh, God, I'm such an idiot. Right, give me a second, I have to warp out of here. Okay, I'm out, and middle room done. I was supposed to say left-hand room done. Now we're going to do the middle room. There we go. ba -doo! There's our little water vator, and as you can see in here... Um, this is going to be a bit like sort of Asgard in, in the MCU, I guess. Kind of like a hall with big statues on either side of the, of the uh, building. Uh, nothing too major. But obviously that's going to be coming in next. And I think the next thing we need to do is sort out this water vator because it didn't quite work very well before. There we go. So I didn't want people to fall into the fire as you come up. So that's going to be there. So it's basically going to funnel them straight down the middle and they're not going to get hurt. Because if they come in with good gear, not, then, you know, the whole point is they don't get hurt at all. That's, you know, it's just the, the sort of fear of getting hurt, I suppose. So you hit the uh, glass roof, the glass walls there, it stops you going, and then you just walk straight down the middle here. And the water vator is going to be right here at the end going up into the uh, shop. Well, there's, I think there's going to be a little corridor going into one water bait that goes up into the shop. So, yeah. That's that. So we'll get the glass in for that. I'm going to need some signs. I've got any signs. I think I've got some signs on me. But, yeah. We'll get this water bait made and then it's onto the middle room. Okay. Main water bait is up and running as well. And here we go, into the Trial of Combat room, which is now going to be called. Whoop! Bloing! Here we go. Right. Time to get this thing done. Now, this is going to split off into two, um, just because there's two small rooms above. I do need to make that block a red brick block, because it looks messy. But yeah, we'll have to cover this pillar as well. Um, and just basically take it from there. But obviously this is the main water vater go coming down into the shop, so that's why I'm going to have to build something going all around it. Um, so let me figure that out and show you what I came up with, and I'll be back. Ta -da! There we are. So there's your, there's your uh, sort of Viking warrior types with a sword and a shield. Standard Minecraft statue designs, they're, they're everywhere, just just Google them. <laughs> I'm not, I did not come up with this design, but there's going to be, I hope, three, one there, maybe one at the front. Although I've got some weird lighting glitches in here, which is kind of weird. I'll put some light, lighting trickery behind the walls, I think. And as you can see, I've got a water vator either side. Doesn't matter which one you take, they basically go up to a little corridor above. Uh, to take into the shop um, but it's just a way of covering the the main water vator I think the idea is people you know people want to be in awe of these sort of giant statues you know I think that's the kind of idea and they come round they go into the bubble vator or they can go into this bubble vator here 
there's a corridor above and another bubble vater takes you into the shop um, nothing too fancy but yeah I think the plinth design I like this I don't, never really liked the uh, the red red sort of cobbly stone stuff I can't remember what it's called now um, but I do like the polished I think it's granite isn't it um, I do like the polished version it does look good for like plimps for big things like statues and such but yeah I'm gonna make some more um, and I'll show you what it looks like there you go there you go that's more like it so we've got our three statues in uh, I'll show you what you'll see when we come up so there's a bulb of Vader, and we've got one with a sphere a spear? a spear even and then another one with a sword at the end but in a different pose um, give me two seconds Whee! and here's part start of the corridor up here um, got some digging out to do some lighting and there's the other there's the other bubble vater there from the other side of this room and I'm trying to decide whether to have it one big corridor or just two separate ones I think I'm gonna get out go down the route of two separate ones just because it's easier to build and then it's not going to be confusing for the player when they've got several bubble columns coming up and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'll do that. And then we'll move on to the ice room. And that'll be this shop nearly done, apart from the actual main shop unit itself. You'll never guess who turned up. Only our illustrious mayor to have a look at progress. Well, she's on her way down now. Well, she should be. Hello, Irina. There we go. Hiya! Right. Obviously she's here. I think she's here in the building inspector kind of style -y. <laughs> Yay, you found it. <laughs> she's here she's here in an official capacity to make sure I'm 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 doing health and safety regulations. But well, here we go, in the middle of the room. Whoop! -a. There we go. What do you think? Some statues, yeah, she seems to like it. Are they up to code? Yeah, they're up to code. Good. The last one's up to code. No, they are not penises, they are swords. Or they could be kind of bludgeoning stick weapons. I don't know. Lighting glitches, yeah. <laughs> so many lighting glitches, it's really annoying. Where's she gone? Oh, she's she's bad here somewhere. Hi. Oh, she's having another go. <laughs> Wee. Blunk. Go in the fire room. Go in the fire room. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go in the fire room. <laughs> another lighting glitch. For God's sake. Urgh. My head is. There's no lighting glitches in here, mate. <laughs> Don't set yourself on fire. There you go. Anna out. Is that the code? Even the fire room? Yeah? Good. Right, I'm going to get on with it then. Cheers for the visit, mate. On to room number three, and you know what that means. Ice. Lots and lots and lots of ice. Ah. Finally got silk touch, as you can see. <laughs> took, took long enough. Normally get that in the first couple of days. Uh, yeah, lots of ice gathering. Um, got a big, basically the opposite of the fire room, pretty much, is what I'm going for. Though I might make a little ice cave, maybe some icicles so I can have on the ceiling. Something along those lines, make it all cold and blue and blah, 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 you know. So yeah, let's get back to Valhalla. Room done! I'll show you that later. Um, and I've moved straight on to doing the shop. It's been a good few hours since uh, the last update. It's really update heavy this this episode. I'm sorry. Um, this is this is where it gets complicated because I'm making like a like a really deep hellscape. The actual shop's where I'm standing. That's where the chests are going to be. Not going to access all this underneath. This is all going to be covered in in various layers of glass to make a sm smoky fog effect. Um, hopefully you can see, we would be able to see right down to the bottom. I'm just going to light it with, um, oh my god, my FPS is being slow. I'm just going to light it with, uh, with, with lava blocks and things like that, and hopefully that'll be enough. Um, but I'm going to cut the, um, updates bits, and I'll show you some more finished articles in a sec. 
And in today's time lapse chat, I want to talk about where I've been. Um, I've had to take a couple of weeks off uploading MC Ages. I do have these episodes uh, actually done. I'm talking to you from the future, about six or seven episodes in front, actually, right now. Um, but I've been busy. Um, as some of you know, I'm a cinematographer, and, and drone cinematography is my speciality. Um, and had a couple of small films and things like that on the go. Um, nothing major, nothing paid or anything, just... Uh, various indie projects that that were interesting to to me and my team and that's the thing because i'm not i'm still recovering from uh my post-traumatic stress disorder and i can only work for a few hours a day you know once or twice a week if that so yeah i'm kind of easing myself back into it um but i've been away for a couple of days um all the mc ages episodes are on my computer at home and uh no access to that. I think I'm going to start sticking the finished episodes on my online drive and then at least I can upload them and, uh, you know, keep an eye on them for the first couple of hours. But aside from that, yes, I had a couple of, you know, from doing the odd hour here and there, I've been quite poorly uh, as a result. Nothing too major, it's just part of the condition. Uh, you get very confused. Sometimes your speech goes, it, it, it depends on what, you know, what your brain decides to do at the time. Well, I'd take about a week off because of that. But it's not all bad. I mean, you know, I'm still doing what I love, um, which is what I advise any of you to do. Life is very short. Um, don't take it for granted. For example, my condition affects me very similar to Alzheimer's, so most mostly it's memory loss and getting confused and, and saying the wrong words when I mean a different word and that kind of a thing, which obviously you can't tell on a YouTube episode because I edit all that crap out. But yeah, before that, I used to be quite clever and uh, I haven't got access to that anymore. So, and you take it for granted. So never don't do that, kiddies. If you've got a special skill, you've got a passion, uh, if you've got something you're naturally good at and you don't even think about it, appreciate it, value it, share it with others. Like I say, it's not doom and gloom, it's just a, just a fact of life, you know, things change, situations change, medical health changes, and if you don't learn to roll with those punches, then you're going to have a pretty miserable time, frankly. As some of you may have seen, because I do, I tend to do NC Ages vlog, MC Ages vlog, MC Ages vlog like that, or cinematic, MC Ages cinematic, whatever. So I've managed to have some good therapy for myself the last couple of days. I've just released a video on on the Mubit channel and on Facebook on Facebook Mubit Media, and it's a short sort of three minute cinematic story. Um, I got inspired because I was playing with my. I have an assistance dog, Rory. Um, we got him at the height of my illness. Working with Dogs Trust, he um, got trained up to be my assistance dog um, he understands sign language um, which obviously I've had to learn if my speech goes and he does a good job for the most part <laughs> he's he's a little scamp so we sometimes forget it when when he's supposed to be working but he, he's brilliant and he's the best therapy I've ever had just having that person to look after and for some you know some company so I'm here in the editing studio on my own at the moment um, I'm now trusted by my family to be on my own because I've got Roy with me and, uh, you know, he keeps an eye on me. If you hear some snoring <laughs> in the background while while we're recording this episode, it's because uh, he likes to sleep underneath my editing desk. So sometimes the mic picks up his snoring, which is quite, quite hilarious. But yeah, you should check out um, the Roy video I've just done. It's just a short three minute story. It shows how when we got him he had no fur scabs all over his skin open wounds you know pus filled sort of cuts on his leg and things uh, and obviously i was broken as well and between the two of us we, we've kind of healed each other and he's happy and he's clever and he's he's got fur and he's you know he's caught a lot calmer he used to be used to chase his tail a lot in frustration and fear you know every, every smallest sound had set him off and now he's a lot calmer a lot more chilled and so am I as a result. Um, I owe a lot to him. It's, it's amazing what a difference uh, you know, an animal can make in your life. They are wonderful creatures, especially dogs. They seem to, there's something about dogs where you form a bond with them and they form a bond with you. And, it, and, it's, and it's, in my case, it was life changing. So yeah, um, hopefully that explains where I've been. And if I am flaky, I'll try and do it weekly. But if I get flaky, you know that I'm probably poorly and I'll just upload the week after instead. But Please forgive me, I love you, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see you back on the MC Ages server. 
Well, I didn't quite finish it in this episode, I thought I would have done, but I made quite some significant progress as you can see. There is the statue of Odin, oh yeah. Um, the floor's done, the uh, crazy hellscape's done, uh, we've got lava waterfalls and plimps where all the chests are going to be going. I'm um, going to put another bit, bit of glass all around the Odin statue, so it's going to be like sort of frosted glass like smoke rising up kind of a thing um but yeah i'll i'll basically finish it off camera and uh, have irena and and anyone else around for the first tour right at the start of the next episode and then we can finally move on to the next project but hopefully you've enjoyed um this episode i know it's been a bit update heavy but you know i wanted to it's it's, it's quite a large project as you can imagine and uh, I wanted to, you know, make sure that you knew how much work had gone into it and things like that. And, and also update you in the time lapse chat about where I've been. Um, but yeah, thanks for all the support so far. I know a lot of pe people have been asking where's MC Ages. I really like it. So thank you for that. Much appreciated. And if you like what you saw, you know what to do with all the subscribe buttons and all that. And if you didn't like what you saw, feel free to click that dislike button twice. See if I care. <laughs> See you next episode, peeps. Ta-ra.